Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Cancer's week ahead for October 4th through the 10th. In this message, we're going to first tap into the energies with the Psychic Tarot deck here. Then we will get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot deck. And dig a little bit deeper into the message with a traditional tarot deck. I will clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Cancer, what we can see for you guys for October 4th through the 10th. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit. Does Cancer need to see? October 4th through the 10th. So far, guys, I've just a warning. We will see what comes out, but there's been this big release that's been taking place. And I do feel like it may have to do with the planetary alignments that are presently in our atmosphere, in our energy field. What does Cancer need to see October 4th through the 10th spirit, please and thank you. It's the Eight of Wands. Okay, communication fast movement forward. Let's get all the cards out and we'll see what's going to come in. This is going to be about here for Cancer. Two eights. There's definitely a need here for communication, okay? I feel like you're going to be speaking your truth about how you feel regarding a loss in a connection. There is a need here to be clear on what you need to say be strategic, but also straight to the point. This is the Eight of Wands with the Five of Cups energy. And then we have the Emperor with the Eight of Pentacles here. So there is going to be positive movement forward. I do feel like the reason why there's a need to get clear on what you want to say, get straight to the point, is because I feel this energy cancer of being conflicted here. Conflicted about what you need to say or how you need to say it or what you should say. Just be very strategic and straight to the point. This could be regarding a very deep connection here, but let's see. That was the Four of Wands energy. Let's take a look for Cancer. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free stuff, it's all linked below in the description box and cancer if you like how I vibe you like how I interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages the five of autumn this is the five of pentacles there's definitely a need here for clarity this is the page of wands energy princess of spring is the page of wands energy this tells me that, again, there's a need to be strategic with how you proceed. High Priestess, Seven of Swords, Four of Spring, 
Queen of Spring. Two of Autumn. Awakening. Queen of Autumn. So, you've had an epiphany that you need to put yourself first. That's ultimately what it boils down to. You've had this epiphany, this change in perspective that maybe how you were moving in this connection wasn't the right way to move. I feel like maybe you were putting this person before you were putting yourself. And it was causing you eventually to feel disregarded by this person. There's a lot of passion here already within this reading and we're going to get some more cards out here on this. This could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. We also have an earth sign. We have Pisces. I do feel like there's a lot of passion, a lot of love. There's a deep connection here. But again, there's that imbalance within this connection. And I feel like it has to do with one person giving more than they were receiving. There were a lot of secrets. I feel like a lot of things that were hidden that maybe you still aren't aware of here. So, let's get a little bit deeper into this. Cancer. For you. October 4th through the 10th. What does Cancer need to see? Most important message here, Spirit. So you see what we have here, Cancer. The Emperor, the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups. So there is a person here between the King and Queen of Cups, this family dynamic. Queen of Swords to the Hierophant. Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Strength, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands with the World card, The Hermit, the five of pentacles there's definitely a completion there's a completion of a cycle here and for some of you this could be with a fire sign the bottom of the deck is the ten of cups here so there is this deep connection and there's also this loss i feel like this at some point this connection had turned very toxic cancer okay now what i'm sensing here and don't get mad don't shoot the messenger some of you may have been the third party in this situation meaning that this person could have been married and this truth was revealed here Maybe this person was being deceptive about that, but I ultimately feel here cancer. And for some of you, the roles could be reversed. Okay. There could have been a third party situation that was intervening into your family dynamic. But what I'm getting here for the most part is 
you might have been the other woman or man in this situation. However, this is all coming to an end. Somebody is finding out about the options here. That's what this completion of a cycle is about. There's going to be a determination. There's going to be no more juggling here. So somebody is going to be making a decision. Um, ultimately feel here and we're going to get some more clarification. But I feel like Cancer, you're the one that's going to be left out in the cold here. There's definitely a need to focus on yourself, what you need to feel solid moving forward. I also feel like there is a need here to be strategic with how you proceed. There's a lot of confusion surrounding this connection. Okay, I feel like, yes, there is a deep connection here, but maybe there's a need to be clear on what, what this connection is not only within yourself but having a conversation about that and i do feel like that conversation is going to be had this other woman or man is going to be brought up here again i feel like there is going to be a decision that's going to be made and i really feel here um that there's going to need to be a, some acceptance regarding this. This might not be the decision that you think is the right decision, but what is being said here is that it, this is, you've completed this cycle here, Cancer, and I feel like this person is still on this lower level energy. So you're needing to cho put yourself first here. Okay, choose yourself and walk away from this connection. Positive movement forward. Let's get some clarification on this, guys. The last cards, I'll show really quickly the strength with the king of pentacles. This is a process that you're going to be going through. I feel like this is the beginning phases of this process. But by choosing yourself first, that's what's initiating this completion. You're going to need to take some time. This isn't this isn't going to be an easy choice to make. This isn't um, an easy energy to move through. So there's going to be need, a period of time needed where you're focusing on your own needs and making yourself feel um, stable, solid, grounded, and getting clear on the path that you see yourself headed on. Clarify for Cancer. Queen of Swords with the Hierophant. Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Now, you're, this person may come forward and just straight out tell you that they have another person. Okay, but this is definitely what's coming forward here. Now again, for some of you, this is I'm married. Maybe they have excuses. Maybe they have lies. I'm married, but I'm trying to end it and I'm staying for the kids or whatever whatever excuse they make up here um, it's a lie they're just trying to have their cake and eat it too you're you're needing to put your foot down here cancer and choose yourself this person isn't 
they're doing what's best for themselves. And I don't feel like they're going to be leaving that situation, to be honest with you. This is all a show. Two threes clarifying the confusion. Yeah. Yes. There's a need here to get clear. Get clear on where you see yourself headed. Get back in alignment with your vision, Cancer, and move forward. This person... is definitely coming out as lower vibrational okay i also feel like this person is trying to um have their cake and eat it too this may even be some type of an you know addiction love sex intimacy can be an addiction Here's the thing, and I'm sure you've heard this saying before on the internet or what have you, that if you have options in a relationship and you can't make a decision, some people will, cho will choose to leave that, to take themselves out of that category, to not be an option, to help the decision along. There, with the Eight of Cups here, there's a significant lesson that needs to be learned from walking away from this. And maybe that lesson is in letting go of a deep connection. Okay, letting go of that, ending that past life, ending that karmic cycle, which isn't easy by any means, especially when there is a soul tie. Whether it's karmic, whether it's soulmate, whether it's a twin flame, all of those soul tie type of connections are hard to release because of the deepness in the connection. But this person is coming out as very secretive, very misleading. It's seeming as if they're hiding a family. You're going to know if this is resonating for you or not. But spirit is calling for you to heal from this situation. And I know somebody out there needs to hear this, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There is a need here to get back realigned with your vision. Once you're able to release this completely... There's going to be a new opportunity in love that's going to be presented to you. But you're not going to be open to that opportunity if you're focused on this connection, right? Because we're going to kind of be blocking out that connect that new connection like, "Oh no, we have somebody we're waiting for." Be careful with that. Be careful with that energy because if this person is going back and forth between you and another person, they haven't chose you and you're choosing them, you're not allowing yourself to be open to connections that might be better suited for you in better alignment with where you're headed. We're going to pull a few cards here for your advice, guidance, moving forward, Cancer. But ultimately, what I see from the cards so far is you're being called to walk away from a situation that is no longer serving you. And you may need to kind of speak your peace in that situation. Before you walk away. But if you are the other woman, yes, it's time to walk away. Put yourself first. Focus on your future. Because think about it, is this where you want to, is this the position that you want to be in for the rest of your life? And you honestly can't expect a person to change. They have to be wanting to change on their own. You kind of have to ac accept a person for how they are right now. 
and if they change then that's a bonus right but it's not fair to expect that person to change which I honestly don't see them doing at least for this month anyway so advice guidance for cancer moving forward here I am going to do an extended version to this reading guys in the extended version we're going to take a look a little bit deeper into the energy surrounding you and your person we'll look into if there's anything else you need to be made aware of that will come to the forefront is there any secrets that need to be made aware of other than what has already come out we'll look into the outcome if the guidance is followed I will also um, pull out a few different oracle decks over there. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining. The link is below in the description box. There's a new beginning that's being put on your path that's going to be more stable. Okay. But you're going to need to heal from this situation before you're open to that new connection. like you're having to kind of walk away from this third party situation put a little bit of work time effort into yourself and get clear on what it is that you want in a connection and that's when that connection is going to be presented to you what what does this long-term commitment look like to you right Where do you see yourself headed in a relationship? You're being asked to release a heavy situation here, Cancer. And for some of you, it's not going to be easy. For some of you, you might not do that. Okay. That's okay as well. But understand there's a lesson to be learned in that. So just make sure that you're paying attention to what exactly that lesson is. Let's get a soul journey card out here for you guys. If you have found that this message is helpful, it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect the things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive avoid cynicism and pessimism always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty the endless chatter of the physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind so do your best to listen to happy music read soul enriching fiction and be wary of music movies or tv shows that can darken your mood happy people attract happy people so if the energy gets too daunting if it gets too heavy definitely incorporate an hour of laughter into your daily routine it'll help reduce your stress your anxiety by at least 30 percent you are headed in a positive direction cancer i do i do sense that it might not feel like that at this time but this will pass you'll get through this um Definitely focus on what is to learn. What is the reason behind all of this? Why is this all happening the way it's happening? Okay. 
What is the lesson that you need to take from all of this? And maybe that is walking away from a connection that's deep, you know, letting go. Letting go. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version to this reading, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.